Hi, it's Rachel from 7 and All, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some news about our homeschool family's plans for the summer. Now, this is a collab hosted by my friend Megan over at Pennies and Salt, and she's got several other channels collaborating on this topic today just talking about plans for the summer. And for some people, they're gonna just pretty much continue with their normal routine, but lots of homeschool families kind of add in something a little bit different, um, maybe add in some travel, do a unit study, or take time to do something that they don't always have time to do during the school year. And some families will spend a lot of time outdoors or in their garden and learning some real life skills out there in the dirt. For every family, it looks different, and that's why we're kind of just sharing to show the broad spectrum of plans. So if you are interested in this, make sure you go down and check out her channel and the whole playlist for summer homeschool plans below. All right, so I do actually have some pretty exciting summer plans ahead. Um, first, I should let you know my fifth grade and 10th grade sister will be basically continuing school as normal throughout the plan, throughout the summer. Um, where they. Uh, I will try to show you a little bit of a picture maybe here or some footage of what my weather looks like here year-round. So it is not, um, summer doesn't super mean anything. The June and July doesn't mean anything when you live near the equator because the weather's all the same. So there's no extra motivation to get outside or to try to plant something when you live in an apartment on a tropical island um, all year long. So their school will be continuing just as normal. Um, no special plans there, but for me and for my family, we actually do have a pretty exciting plan and it's one I'm kind of nervous about sharing because making plans in this year um, and last year <laughs> and this whole kind of period in history is very difficult. So I do feel like with any plan, it's always if everything works out, which I mean, that's true for all plans throughout time. It's if everything works out, if everything comes together, we are actually, uh, my husband and my sons and me are going to be visiting the USA this summer and spending time there seeing our families. So as long, that's the direction we're walking towards, that we're preparing for, we're getting ready for. It's gonna take a lot of preparations. <laughs> Um, but that is our big plan for the summer and that's pretty big. It's actually been four solid years since my husband and I have set foot in the USA and um, my sons were both born overseas so they have never been there. They've never met any of our extended family that is there. So they have a lot of family to meet and I am that to me, that's the thing that I think means the most is just to finally share these most precious gifts that I've been given my sons with my family. That is a big part of my life that I love so much and cherish so much, but I just don't get to do life right next to them. I really, I, I, want, to, I want to say here, look, here's my babies. They're not babies anymore. They're getting kind of big. <laughs> but look, you can see them in real life now. That is something I am deeply looking forward to and excited about and working towards, so we are very excited to be planning that. Um, the trip will also, of course, involve paperwork for those who live overseas. You know, every time you get to go back into your home country, you're trying to deal with things like driver's license renewals and bank paperwork and just kind of taking care of all that adult life stuff that stacks up over a while, things that need your signature in real life. And there are some things that it's still hard to manage online and from a distance. So we've also just got paperwork, kind of adulting stuff to do, and shopping. So I've been, I've mentioned multiple times, we've really relied on PDF curriculum resources in the past while here because we haven't been able to get any new books from the USA and new curriculum. But I'm definitely um, going to be prioritizing shopping for those and reserving suitcase space for books in Spanish for a curriculum that my, my mom can use with my sisters. And so that uh, shopping is definitely going to be a big part when you're going back to your passport country after four years away. And I've never actually been a mom in America before. So that's going to be a little bit different. Just like it's different. Going to a grocery store is different there. I don't know what that's, <laughs> what it's going to be like. I've never been a parent in the USA. 
this, I'm sure that we're going to have culture shock. On this channel, you know I keep it to mainly homeschool stuff, encouragement, tips, resource recommendations, and reviews. But if you are interested in following our family and our family's adventures, especially in this upcoming summer and months, you can follow our 7 and All Adventures channel, um, which I will link in the cards and in the description. Um, so that you can see me and my husband, my sons, and kind of our adventures this summer, our travels. We're going to be road tripping from Texas to Michigan and trying to, you know, squeeze as many experiences as we can into a very short time and just relish in um, Michigan summer with my family out on the farm having bonfires. I'm looking forward to that, but you can follow along with that channel if you want to see more adventures. We have had that channel for a little while, but it's been rather quiet because lockdowns and such mean that adventures have been a little bit harder to come by lately. But I am very excited for these plans and I am hoping that every little step that needs to come together will come together. And so yeah, that is my exciting summer plan.